Alyssa Nguyen. This is my son, Miles Nguyen. So Miles had been complaining of headaches for about two days. And by the night of the second day, we just decided that it would be best to go to the emergency room because the headaches were persistent. We got to Memorial's emergency room, Dr. Maynor saw us right away and decided to do a CT as well as administer some medications. From the CT, we found out that he had a brain tumor. Shock, complete shock. I was thinking it was sinus, impacted sinus or something like that. The very next morning, Dr. Thompson, the neurosurgeon here in Savannah, uh, came to his room and um, ordered a MRI of his um, brain and spinal cord area. So we got the MRI back and his, he decided that we needed to biopsy the tumor. And so that following Tuesday, we were scheduled for a brain uh, biopsy, which is brain surgery, technically. And um, three weeks later, we found out it was a malignant tumor. It was what they thought was a high-grade glioma. Um, a week from that, uh, the best course of action for that is a resection. Try to get as much of the tumor out as you can. Um, Dr. Thompson was amazing in deciding which way to approach the surgery from the left, the right, intracranial. From that uh, surgery, it was a nine hour surgery and he removed 78% of the tumor. A high grade glioma is one of the most deadliest pediatric tumors for children. So we kind of were just living into the positives that we could and all our friends and family were praying really hard for Miles. And after the surgery, Dr. Thompson said that we may get a different diagnosis now that there was so much tumor. So three weeks more and we were blessed to find out that it's not a, in fact a high grade glioma which was an absolute miracle. And um, it is something that they may not ever categorize. But what they have found out is the mutation that drives the tumor is what um, we're treating. So we're on an actual biological med that he'll start this week actually, um, to shrink the rest of the tumor. We went from a really, really, really dark diagnosis to something more treatable and hopeful. It means everything because the day that we got the biopsy from Dr. Thompson, the report of the high grade glioma, we were told by multiple people, you've got to go. You've got to go to St. Jude's. You've got to go to Emory. You've got to get out of here. You've got to have a team. And my husband and I just felt very confident in Dr. Thompson and his abilities. And we just knew we were in the right place with all the staff. And, and I said, we have a team. We have a team here. And, um, we just went with that. And I mean, we would not have been able to have a diagnosis of how, what we had on that Tuesday and a week from that had, had our surgery scheduled. So that tumor was already out. Some kids, it's months before they get the surgery scheduled. So had we gone anywhere else, it might be months and by then they become, you know, not treatable because they're so big. So we were able to get in, do everything we could right here at Memorial and that was really a blessing for us because we have a four-year-old and she you know she's part of this too so we didn't have you know we didn't want to be out of town and away from our family and, and all that so great support system here thank you just thank you for caring for our son the way that we do for making him feel like a person that mattered not just a patient not just another patient on the floor every time we went we went and we were admitted three times in the last eight weeks um, for lengthy stays at a time five days six days and each time everybody from Simone in the cafe to everybody on the floor child life the doctors the residents they all took very very good care of us so thank you